in this video I will create this scene in Blender in 8 minutes in real time. So let's move on. Start by deleting default cube and the light and afterwards go to this add-on. It's called HDRI Maker 2.0 and choose an HDRI. You can do that. Uh, well, you can don't have to use this add-on. You can do it manually in Blender or use other add-ons, but that's just the way I go about it. Render engine, I choose cycles and a device, I choose a GPU commute, compute. And back in the viewport, I start to add a plane. And I'm going to scale it, and afterwards, I'm going to make some adjustments to it. I'm going to subdivide it. So, yeah, eight times, I think, nine times, yeah. And afterwards, yeah, I'm going to, to bend the plane. So we get this kind of very simple landscape. I just wanted to kind of like show a hill in the background, like you saw in the beginning of the final image. So it's just moving, uh, making some kind of landscape. It's not really uh, advanced in any way. So shade smooth, so it's 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 a more smooth than before. The camera, I'm going to position it in the, in the bottom of the, of the of the hill or I'm going for focal length about 82 millimeters and um, when you choose a long focal length it will um, automatically blur out the background but you can also do that with if stop then I go to the asset browser and I add another window so it's easier to see. I'm going to use the um, Apocalypse uh, collection from um, Big Medium Small. I'll put a link in the, in the description for it. And there, here I just drag and drop um, the sky I'm going to use for, um, for the scene. And it always takes a little while to load in the character. The character is really high quality. Um, so you have to be a little bit patient about this process. Uh, and then there we go, he's in the scene and then I'll add the car, smash it up car. And I put it in the uh, right part of the scene. Just turn it a little bit and start to put it in a better position. Yeah, and you can see now it, uh, the, the, in the angle the car is blocking the um, the right side so we didn't have to have a hill there that's fine and the guy doesn't really have to need to touch the ground because we're going to uh, to give it some grass in just a second and I'm just rotating the car a little bit so it's not yeah that's that's fine there and now I'm going to use another add-on I'm going to use botanic add-on and it's really great for uh, quickly adding uh, nature things to your scene like grass. Uh, here I added some, um, yeah, it's you can say autumn grass, some, 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 some grass that's not green anymore. And you can do that in sort of way you can adjust the number and this, uh, you can scale it and you can randomize it so it's not looking perfect and it's kind of like uneven to give a more realistic look. And then um, I'll add some rocks also. So just pick the rocks and there you go. You have rocks in your scene. And like with the grass, you can adjust the number of stones in your image and you can also scale them and randomize them and so on. So that way, quite fast, I've built up kind of like this nature scene. And I think that's okay. This is a fast video, you, I could probably have spent a lot more time. Then I go to another part of the add-on and that's uh, adding th trees to the scene. Um, here we go, just one uh, tree that, that is added at first and just put it in the, the left side. And then I pick another one. And they have all kinds of trees in uh, different uh, seasons. So in, this is autumn trees, because I want to have this like um, this for this for this scene. But you can pick uh, trees with snow or 
uh, hick trees with green leaves and so on. So, and then I duplicate one of the trees and I'm just going to put it in the uh, upper right part of the picture to kind of like um, imitate that there's a branch from a tree hanging into the scene. So it's not important that the tree actually is hovering over the ground. Doesn't matter in the final render. Then I go to the depth of field of the camera and I point at the guy and uh, we go for an f-stop of 2.8 and I'm going to adjust the camera. Just getting it into the right position and then moving the tree so I'm satisfied with, with the scene overall. Um, and then I go to, to the render view where you can see that now we have a lot of uh, light coming in to the scene and I want the light to come from the behind, from one of the sides and I also want to have some kind of clouds or something in the background and here is an OK, it's an OK spot so I choose this one and you can see we have kind of like some mountains and some fog and something in the background. That's great. It's blurred out, so you can't really tell what it is, but maybe you get a sense that it's perhaps a mountain or with some fog or anything. Lastly, I will add a point, a light point. And I will put it in front of the man standing there. And that's because um, when the light is coming from the behind, he gets like this. He gets too um, the shadow on on his clothes gets too dark, I think. So I put in this light to illuminate him a bit from the front, and this is just a little too much, I think. So I will dial down the uh, the light, but that's just a way to to make it clearer and at some point I also turn on and off the light so you will be able to see the, the difference do it in just a minute there you go boom boom and you can see the details are uh, easier to see when there's a little bit of light on him and then I'll turn out the light uh, slightly to 60 and the car I think that it could get a little closer to the camera without destroying the scene so that's what I've done here and I also make sure that the trees are not uh, overlapping with the guy with the gun so that's it yeah and the image is finished within eight minutes and this is the render the render can of course take longer times but uh, the scene came together in in eight minutes rather fast uh, thanks to the plugins and and the, the things from uh, big medium small yeah then i uh, put the photo in uh, photoshop and just messed around with the colors and there you go this is the the final image uh, and that's just a way to make and uh, make a po post -ap apocalyptic uh, image rather fast um, with the help of add-ons and and other things. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you will see some of the other videos